Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Today, we would like to present you our research on detective potential of new generation ICT informing information and communication competence of high school pupils. The modern globalized world requires the use of information and communication technologies, which is an important trend in the educational process today. The rapid development of information technology provides an opportunity to teach the media generation of students using modern ICT, including smart and cloud technologies, web syndication, Second Life, Jira services, Web 3.0 technologies, etc. Our educational system is only partially ready for the implementation as there is lack of academic support. Curricula and textbooks do not contain proposals and tasks that would involve the use of new ICT tools. Teachers master new technologies mostly by their own and the chaotic use of cloud technologies is observed. The urgency of the research is also due to the need to avoid resistance and psychological barriers that arise. Self-learning not only for each individual, but also through the participation in the global network. The purpose of the research is to select and justify the use of modern ICT in the educational process in high school on the example of teaching literature. The main objectives of the research are to investigate the state of the problem of ICT use in high school, to substantiate the need of using modern IC technologies to improve the quality of literary education, to develop a system of literary tasks with the use of online resources, to experimentally test the effectiveness to improve the quality of knowledge of high school students in literature and the formation of the IC competences. Scientific novelty lies in the selection and justification of the use of modern ICT in the education process in high school on the example of teaching literature. It is not the knowledge itself that acquires importance at the background, but the ability to find and use it if necessary. In their book, Wanko and Kingsley offer a second life for teachers in education. The combination of forms of traditional and innovative learning becomes positive. The importance of a combination of blended and online learning is pointed out by Wenner. In his view, it is necessary to learn throughout the whole life. What is unique in service training is that it offers direct application in theoretical models. We observe the introduction of new types of ICT in education, including smart technologies, web syndication, Second Life, Jira services, Google Earth, through the use of interactive whiteboards, mobile phones, smart TV, etc. For the formation of literally and information competent personality, the following approaches were used during the experiment. Competence, creative, activity, personally oriented. The functions of formation of literally and information competent personality are cognitive, developmental, educational, and inquisitorial, as well as the following ones integrational, informative, creative, etc. Important principles to which we pay attention are unity and continuity, scientific equality of conditions, accessibility, humanism, flexibility, and integration. During the study of literature, high school students created the following educational information products Google Forms, book trailers, storytelling, QR quests, clusters, art scribing, infographics, etc. The formative stage of the experiment was conducted in five regions of Ukraine. During its implementation, a curriculum on Ukrainian literature using ICT for students in 10th and 11th grade was created. Students completed tasks in the Google Classroom, starting with the simplest use of resources and the ability to work with an electronic library catalog. A bit later, the tasks became more complicated. Children learned to create media texts, post their works on YouTube, participate in web quests on literary topics, etc. Each teacher who participated in the experiment created a blog or a website which posted collections of the best works of students which facilitated the exchange of experiments and information. 
These blocks have become virtual laboratories that provide assistance in mastering the program material from the literature to recipients, contribute to the formation of research, qualities, cognitive interests, information, culture. On the next slides, you can see the selected students' works posted in the blogs. On this slide, we would like to show you the comparative indicators of the level of education achievements of students in literature as a result of our research. The dynamics of changes in indicators reflect the positive trends in the competence development of students in the formation of levels of literary competence. Given the positive developments in learning, we focus on the possible threats of abnormal computer use, impact on the health of the child, Stress to the spine and joints, visual and vascular disorders, psychological disorders, addiction, impaired concentration, aggression, eating problems, stress, information danger, technical influence, electromagnetic radiation, proximity of the monitor, lightning, age of the equipment, physiological effects, hand fatigue, sanitary and hygienic, allergy to dust, colonies of bacteria and microbes on the computer mouse, this contributed to the development of an action program for teachers, recommendation for school administration and high school students on the use of ICT in the educational process. The study showed the importance and relevance of e-learning and the use of e-resources in school practice in the teaching of Ukrainian literature. The peculiarities of their use are revealed. Possibilities of e-learning as a way of thinking of independent creation of concepts Solving practical problems and demonstration of knowledge are presented. The types of activity in literature lesson with the use of ICT tools, which enable the disclosure of cognitive and creative components of the educational process, are characterized. The use of internet resources in order to form IC high school students in literature lessons in a structured form, taking into account their capabilities and practical orientation of tasks to improve the quality of education by updating the content of education is offered. The condition due to which the training was successful are summarized. The result of experimental training, surveys of students have confirmed the hypothesis of the effectiveness of the use of internet resources. There are benefits for improving the competences of high school students. Thus, the proposed study does not cover all aspects of the problem. The subject of further promising exploration may be the development of pilot projects in the fields of e-learning, ensuring the quality of education in the application of e-learning in inclusive education. With this, we would like to finish our presentation. Thank you for your attention.